okay so this is Trier you can see on the other side you can see the St. Mary's column where we came yesterday you can see the center and you can see the amphitheater distance on the horizon you can see it's even where I came from yesterday and uh, I came from there up that mountain and behind those two hills are the fields and you can see the Mosa River planted new plants small ones and put some foliage around the plant so that deer or other animals don't eat the plants as you can see nowadays they seem to prefer iron steel and not the wood anymore the poles is already better than yesterday and the days before. For a change there's no rain, although there are black clouds. So there might be a shower later, but therefore I always have my umbrella with me. Although it's uh, not very practical to carry it, uh, it's always there to protect. Okay, apparently this uh, vineyard belongs to the church. Yeah, the church is evangelical, Protestant, and Catholic. They they are among the biggest, biggest owners of land, and estates in Germany and in the world. I mean, they have billions and billions of euros worth of houses, estates, ground, forests, agricultural areas, everything. 
Okay, so this trail, all road, goes as far as the uh, part of Tria, which is called Olevi, which is probably behind that hill. And then I'm trying to cut, I'll try to cut uh, towards my left and cross uh, to the other side so that I can uh, go to the Petriberg, which is um, where you have a nice panoramic view onto uh, Trier. Yeah, those little huts are actually or were meant for the uh, workers working in the hills harvesting or doing maintenance work so that they could relax out of the sun out of the rain maybe yeah as you can see some parts are not used anymore like there there's nothing there just grass and on the left hand side there's grass as well so I'm not sure whether it all belongs to the church or whether it's different different owners probably different owners and some don't want to work anymore see that's the same sign as church owned and uh, here it says well It was done on purpose to stabilize uh, the mountain. I'm not sure whether they are going to leave that for a while and then plant again. Who knows? If they don't have the plants, then the mountain would erode too much, so that's why they actually plant green grass okay there's an information there after 35 to 40 years all the old plants must uh, actually be withdrawn because they are too old and they need to be replaced and in the first two years there's no grapes to be harvested in the third year there's the first harvest so it's even earlier than I thought I thought about five six seven years and then they can be harvested but there's no nothing in the first two years and then there's something in the third year so there's still hope for the plant which we brought back from Italy a couple of years ago that we might actually have some grapes uh, in the future. Yeah, very nice hilly terrain and Trier is in the valley, in the river valley, 110,000 people. And they have their Okay, they want you to go down here. So there's one Deutsch Herrenhof, which is uh, in that part of Trier. There's a domain there. Okay, see you later then.